hey guys what's up and welcome back to another video um, if you're new here my name is Lauren and I'm 22 years old and I'm currently 36 weeks pregnant with my first baby um, so in this video I'm going to be there's a motorcycle um, I kind of just wanted to do kind of like my 36 week update and talk about how I'm feeling um, also if you saw my last video I did a what's in my hospital bag and for me and for um, my baby and I packed all of his stuff in a bag all nice but all my stuff is just kind of like everywhere not in a bag so <laughs> I figured that probably wasn't very helpful so I'm just going to be kind of putting everything in the bag that I'm going to be bringing to the hospital while I kind of give my like 36 week update. Um, I did a 35 week update so it's really not going to be much different than that but I have had um, like some things change so I just thought I would pack. I'm just bringing this little backpack for myself. Um, everything should fit in here there's like a ton of room in different pockets so um yeah so i'm just gonna kind of pack this while i talk to you guys um just because so i'm 36 weeks today today is july 14th um my due date is august 11th so, um, I would say the biggest difference between like this week and last week is my back. And I don't remember if I talked about it in my last week's video. I probably did because I've been having back pain. Um, not consistently, but I have been having back pain. So, I'm sure I probably talked about it a little bit in my last video but it's nowhere near what it is now um so up until this point probably this week i would say i haven't really felt the need to like nest and i haven't felt like i've been nesting um like i've been doing stuff in his room and um obviously like i have things ready but I haven't been in that like nesting mode until probably like two days ago maybe um but ever since probably like today's Wednesday so probably since like Sunday or Monday I've been like on this kick where like I need to have like everything cleaned everything put where it's supposed to be everything ready which is really nice but also I'm only 36 weeks so he still could you know not come for another couple weeks so it's just really <laughs> it's been kind of hard um, I've been wanting to clean everything um, I did a video last week like cleaning my car and um, like the past few days I've been like cleaning like all like the baseboards in our house and like um cleaning like just like random things like not even like baby stuff necessarily <laughs> just like random things um which I don't even know I mean I'm sure it's normal but it just is really funny to me that um, I've been just wanting to clean everything and that's what leads me into my back pain so I mean it's just it is what it is at this point but if I do pretty much anything like physically um, my back starts to like really really hurt which is really frustrating because 
like I said, there's so much that I want to do. And there's still things that I do need to do. Nothing major. Like if I went into labor right now, I would be prepared and everything would, you know, be totally fine. But there still are some things that I would like to do before he's born. And I don't know. It's just hard when you want to do stuff like so bad. But you like can't <laughs> I guess um like today for example I um had Sean move our couch and I um vacuum I vacuumed and um shampooed the rug with like a carpet shampooer and I thought I heard something and I um I shampooed like our bedroom carpet, our living room carpet, um, and I definitely overdid it. And I did something else too. I don't remember, but I did. I did something else, and then immediately, like my back was hurting so bad. Um, I literally hurt myself for like no reason other than the fact that I wanted to clean the floors. And then I started like vacuuming more things and cleaning different random things and like oh yesterday what it was was I cleaned our laundry room. Um, our laundry room is pretty big. It's not really like a room. It's just like kind of an open area in our house. So like kind of like in like a hallway situation. So I just I don't know I just really wanted to clean it and I did and I was like bending over and sitting on the floor and like scrubbing the floor and like because our dog's dog food and water is in our laundry room so the floor gets kind of like a little dirty where like their water drips out or whatever so I was trying to like clean that so I'm like sitting on the floor um doing all this stuff and make my back like totally hurt so um today after I did all that I was so tired um I think that was everything that I wanted to put in here um I was so tired so I went and laid down in bed and then I turned over in bed and I like really strained my back like pretty bad and I couldn't really move for a while <laughs> so that was pretty stupid of me um but I would say that's like the main difference this week is my back has been hurting so bad and continuing to do things just is really painful um so I know I just need to like take it easy and stop trying to do so many things but again it's hard when you're like in that like nesting like mood when all you want to do is like clean and organize and like get everything ready but you really shouldn't so um my mom is actually going to come over on saturday and like help me like well she's probably gonna end up doing most of it um because she's not gonna let me do it because she is funny but um she's gonna come over and like deep clean our whole house like i said i've been cleaning for like the past few days so it's really our house is not dirty to begin with but um she's gonna come and like deep clean like all of our bathrooms and like do the floors and like just stuff that i don't usually do she's gonna clean like all of our windows inside and outside so by the time he's born everything will be you know clean and ready for him to come home so that's really helpful i'm really grateful for um my mom she's the best but still and i would say another thing this week which isn't like a symptom um i've been like super just like overwhelmed this kind of goes along with what i was just kind of talking about um i feel like i have so much to do and so much that i want to do and i just feel like at the time my time is like running out and I'm not going to have time to do the things that I want to do and need to do. Um, 
but that's just me like i said if he was to be born like tonight we have everything that we need we're totally prepared for him to come and the things that i like need to do aren't necessarily things i need to do they're definitely things that i could do after he's born or whatever um my mom is gonna stay with us for a few days after we get back from the hospital so she'll also be here to like help me do anything or if we do like really need something that we like forgot she can run to the shore and get it for us so it's just all in my head and i know it's all in my head um because like i said if we had him today we would be prepared everything would be totally fine and it would just it would all work out um but there's just like some things that i just feel like i want and need to do before he's born so i might do that um within the next week and make like a whole video about like getting everything done before the baby um i do have a doctor's appointment in two days on friday so um I'll kind of find out more My, he is measuring big so we have kind of talked like induction so i'll kind of know if he's going to be coming like at 39 weeks or what the deal with that is excuse me um because i just i don't know right now um i would love to go into labor naturally but if he's measuring like really big I don't want to risk the chance of having to have like a c-section or anything so that's another thing that I keep thinking about I'm getting a little nervous for labor um, I love my doctor and I love the hospital that I'm giving birth at I'm not worried about any of that I just this is my first baby obviously which means my first time having a baby so I'm just you know just scared for like the unknown um I obviously don't know what labor feels like and um I'm just hoping that my recovery is pretty easy and just things go the way that they're supposed to go and I'm trying not to go into it with too much of like a plan because obviously plans can change and things can change but i'm just trying to be like as positive as possible and um just get myself ready for delivery i am going to try to be um less like active and try to rest more these next couple weeks just because i know kind of what my body is going to be getting into when i give birth so i just want to not put as much strain on it as I can uh but yeah I just am feeling a little overwhelmed with like labor thoughts and making sure that I have everything done making sure everything's ready um yeah it's just again like you when it's your first time you don't know what to expect so it's kind of just like you have to just go into it blindly and hope for the best which is what I'm going to be doing um, my husband and my mom are going to be there while I'm in labor, so I'm not, I don't know, they'll make me feel better, I'm sure, but as of right now, I'm just feeling a little scared and overwhelmed, which I'm sure are completely, totally normal things to feel, um, and I'll be interested to look back on this video after I give birth to see, like, how I feel about it then, um, but yeah, as far as like a 36 week update, the only thing that's really different, um, like I said before, I am not really craving anything. Um, I just have been drinking a lot of water and my back is really like the main thing. I'm going to talk to my doctor about it too because it was just in like my lower back and now it's kind of like becoming like my entire back. So I probably will talk to my doctor about it. Um, on Friday at my appointment but um, everything's fine I've had no issues I feel him kick constantly he moves all the time so that's like really awesome so nothing to worry about there I've been peeing I guess this is a new 
a new one, um, TMI. I've been literally peeing like every like 30 minutes to maybe an hour if I can make it an hour. Um, <laughs> even though I don't, I'm not like drinking like that much at a time, I just constantly feel like I have to go to the bathroom and I was reading it's because like he's getting lower and lower and just like sitting on my bladder. So just making me constantly have to go to the bathroom. So, but like I was saying earlier um, to my husband, like these symptoms aren't that bad. It could be worse. I could be having like, you know, way worse things and um, like way worse symptoms and everything. So I'm just feeling grateful that he's still in there. We're both still healthy. And as of right now, everything is totally fine. So, I think I'm done rambling now. Um, I just, it just kind of feels good to talk and get it like off my chest and everything. Um, how I'm feeling because I'm sure other people feel the same way. So, yeah. So, that is going to be it. Oh, I will show you my bump. Just so I have like a memory of it, I guess. Ooh. This is my bump at 36 weeks exactly i'm 36 weeks today so yeah so i think that's going to be it for today's video um if you guys haven't be sure to um subscribe to our channel um we will be filming a birth video and i'm still really out of breath if you can't tell um we are going to be filming a birth video and tons of videos after he's born if you want to follow along with us we would really love and appreciate it um and be sure to comment i reply to all the comments and let me know if you guys felt the same way and let me know if there's anything that um helped you in feeling anxious and just kind of overwhelmed but that's gonna be it because i don't think i can physically talk anymore but Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.